Vincent moving aside with very quick footed there I must tell you Ankushita Boro very agile very quick good movement there take a look at a leg movement this time landing in the left jab much to the delight of their coaches as Rafael Barmaskus watches on but a good defense a good guard by Ekaterina because Ankushita despite getting in a flurry of blows is not able to penetrate the defense only hitting the forearm the jabs are not connecting despite the vociferous support of the home crowd this is a tough match to supervise also a very high guard there by Katrina she's understood the game of Boro just being a tad more defensive right now Boro looking for the hooks on the left and the right little under one minute left and this bout relentless punching from both ends yes the flurry of punches Ekaterina, the stronger of the two, the referee tells them to box on. Uh, Ankushita Boro trying to use her reach to get points through jabs. But with the tattoo in her arms. This time a good jab going in, in favor of the Indian. Yes, but she's also attacking non-stop. Ekaterina is not, no quarter asked for, no quarter given. Referee warning her not to use her helmet, not to headbutt. Swinging jabs from far, Ankushita Boro. Once again, a left hook coming in from Boro's end. Much to the delight of the crowd sitting behind us as well. Another close range punch this time. Separated by the referee and warned, asking to stay away. Last 10 seconds into this round. Good right straight, good right straight there by Boro. Just in time at the stroke of the bell. Yes, Rafael will now try to give her instructions. Uh, the danger for Ankushita here is not to get carried away. She has to follow her plan. The crowd may be on their feet. No, we look at this crowd. They're anticipating an Ankushita Boro win. But let's take a look at the highlights as well. Brought in those jabs and those right and left punches. Right straight as well. Very good counter punching there. Yes, she's got quick silver feet. And as you rightly said, the poster girl. Wherever we go in Guwahati, when I went even outside Guwahati on our rest day at the game sanctuaries, there also there were always Ankushita Boro's posters. She's become extremely popular. The Chief Minister of Assam, a sports enthusiast, is watching her. If you have banners all over, she's really the pin-up girl of Assam now. They consider her the future Mary Com. And the, the entire system, the BFI, the Assam government needs to be applauded. So is Aiba as we all set for round number two. Good uppercuts coming in there into the midriff region, this time on the face as well. It's a barrage of punches exchanged and Boro slightly ahead at this point. Tentative jab there, but this one on target. Tentatively, Ankushita's defense is holding well and she's moving away because Katrina is trying to finish her with powerful jabs. Another very good straight punch and look at their coach, Rafael Bergamaskus. He knows. He's reading it well. Once again, close range punch has been exchanged. Ankushita Boro, high on energy, moving well. Hand movements are quick. Ekaterina, a little tentative, high on guard right now. And she's had a long wait because there was a slight stoppage. And it's the last bout of the day, which is justifiable. It's a full house. Maria Rizzardo saying, fight on. We've had one minute in round two. Ankushita with a right jab missing. Ekaterina, Very good left hook there. Yeah, coming in at her, constantly trying to close the gap and attack her. The croucher, the brawler, trying to attack the more classic boxer, Ankushita. Good temperament, Ankushita, and her ability to land a punch on ta a target. Very shy teenager otherwise, but gets ferocious when she came to the ring. Again, she surprised her opponent with a spurt of punches out there. Very good burst once again. Just catching her off guard. Ekaterina off target with her side hooks. Yes, and like all the Indian boxers, she's got a big heart. Uh, doesn't give up. Ekaterina trying to bulldoze her way through. Uh, but the referee separating them. She's been sharing poster space with Mary Com over there. In the backdrop, you can see that poster. She is the future of Indian boxing and she's justifying it in the middle today. What a brave fight, Ankushita Boro putting up against 
Russia's Ekaterina Dynik. A little under 40 seconds now left on the clock. Yes, our local coaches should also get credit. They spotted her potential when she was a teenager and they really trained her in the sports centers and Golagat. The Assam government doing good work. Last 30 seconds in round two. And Ekaterina also coming in with some fierce blows. Ekaterina getting to her, now getting her into a grappling hold, but the referee rightly separates them. Box on, keep your distance. It's a tough, it's a tough battle. Once again going for the side hooks. There you go. Relentless punching from both ends. That clinch has become a scramble. Rafael is upbeat. Rafael is back on his toes as we go into round number three in a few seconds from now. But this has been some great intent and purpose shown by Ankushita Boro. She's not fighting alone. She has an entire stadium right behind her. Uh, yes, as you can see, Ankushita Boro is quick silver. A lightning quick uh, footwork as well as very good hands. And uh, doesn't mind trading punch for punch. She's just not retreating. You know, she's very different from, say, like a, a Sakshi Chopra fighting. Uh, she's willing to trade blow for blow. She's uh, Shashi Chopra fighting. She doesn't keep retreating. But Rafael has to tell her to calm down because this third round is going to be very decisive. The Indian flag has been flying high. And once again, Ankushita is doing every bit that she can to make India proud. Look at that energy. Look at that intensity. She's all charged up as... Uh, Ekaterina comes forward with her jabs. There goes Ankushita Boro. Once again, a close clinch, close range punching. Bhaskar Dutch from the red corner. Shouting and yelling and trying to advise her. Once again, those jabs coming in by Ankushita. Yes, she's a student. A student of Dakshin Junior College in Guwahati. And she's encouraged what Mary Com did in Manipur. Ankushita is doing in Assam. Her own sisters boxing, other people from her tribe, the Boro tribe, girls from Assam are taking to boxing. And if she wins, becomes a world champion. It what be a lovely better. right straight going in. That is Ankushita Boro at her best. As once again they get into that clinch. Look at that energy shown by both the boxers. They are not tiring, untiring efforts at the moment. Yes, great effort even by the Russian girl, Ekaterina Dainik. As Ankushita keeping a low guard, looking for a left jab, taking advantage of her height. Jabbing, not being able to connect. Over here we have 1 minute 50 seconds left of round 3. The first minute is over. Neither boxer has been able to dominate this bout. It's going to be close, decided by the 5 judges. Ekaterina moving in. Looking for that uppercut again off target. She's she's defended well, she's moved well, she's avoided the punches well. It's not just her offense, it's not just the punches for Boro, it's the way she's moved on the court as well, Novi. Yes, the ring craft is good, she's moving very well. She's really twinkle feet on the ring and above that knows when to come into attack and has got, as I said, a very big heart, keeping her distance because she knows Ekaterina is the more the powerful side fighter. Of coming. From Ekaterina's end as well. Ekaterina. One minute on the clock. No yeah, she's decisive. the most powerful fighter. So Ankushita has to keep her distance also. It's no point, you know, going gung for glory and, uh, you know, trying to fight her way in. This is about, it's not a fight. Just a reminder to all our viewers, they're only 17 years of age, these boxers. And they've put up one of some of the bravest fights in the IBA. Yes, Women's Ankush Youth World Championship. Ankushita was born on 6th October 2000. Uh, silver medalist in the two tournaments, international tournaments this year. This would be the icing on the cake, a gold medal. That was a good straight punch coming on Ankushita. This time Ekaterina with the advantage. Once again looking for that left hook. Tiring in the end, just going to the corner, clinching, separated by the referee. Ten seconds, Novi. The defining moments coming up in some time from now. Yes, defining moments. And it will be the ref judges who will take a decision. The final assault day from both ends. Ankushita relentless, not giving up. Do they know it? Do they know it? They are already celebrating. Yes, they think that she has done enough to get the referee's verdict on points. 
Rafael's indication, Rafael's reaction is very important because he has a good measure of the bout. And the moment Ankushita Boro came back to her red corner, she was given a big, huge hug. Will we see goal number five for India? The announcement coming in a few seconds from now. That girl, 17-year-old girl, Ankushita Boro from a very small town in Tezpur called Thelmara. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner with points by a split decision in the red corner, representing India. What a moment this. Tears of joy. She struggled. She sacrificed. There was sweat in her journey. And today she clinches her biggest moment of her life and her career. It is celebrations. The Chief Minister of Assam stands to a rousing reception. Novi, what a moment this. Yes, to win in front of our home crowd, it's a very emotional moment. And she was a deserving winner amongst the five Indian girls in fray. I thought Neetu and Ankushita were the most deserving winners. Uh, tears of joy now as she walks up in front of us. A very happy moment for her and our family. And uh, it's her father and her father who's a school teacher, mother, a social worker who sacrificed so much to allow their daughter to become a world champion. This is a story to believe in. Ankushita has fought a lot of opposition situations and today she's come out triumphant and a very big moment in Indian boxing. Yes, we have Mary Com to look up to, but now there are new stars coming up which will even do Mary Com proud and the efforts have to be applauded. The coaching staff, the boxers, the system, Boxing Federation of India, IBA as well. The initiative has worked, the opportunity was presented and it has been grabbed by young stars like Ankushita and the rest who won gold for India, Novi. Uh, yes, yes it's, you're absolutely right. It's the system which has made a difference. Uh, the system which started earlier, some years ago, and now in the last two years, uh, since 2016, when uh, the new Boxing Federation of India has taken control, uh, they've set these, you know, international exposure, academies, good foreign coaches. We have to say it is Rafael who made all the difference. Oh, yes. Rafael Bergamascus, the coach, has brought in new life into Indian boxing, backed by the BFI president, Ajay Singh, who has professionalized the sport. The roar gets louder as he walks towards... The crowd, Ankushita Boro, they walking back, and this is a big moment. She began boxing at the age of 12, and in five years, she has done the unthinkable by winning gold. As we move across to the presentation ceremony in the women's heavyweight 81 kg category, yes, it will be the gold medal, second gold medal for Russia, Kristina Kacheva. Dina Islam Bekova will get the silver medal over here. And after that, the raw you will hear will be for Ankushita's medal ceremony. Uh, the two bronze medal, India's Neha Yadav and uh, Saida Sahin of Turkey. India's uh, Neha Yadav and Sa uh, Sa uh, Saida Sahin, they will get the bronze medals. The two losing semi-finalists. Both who were seeded to the semi-final. The two girls seeded to the semi-finals. There is India's Neha Yadav, uh, the college student who fought gallantly. Bronze. Yes, bronze medal from the SD College, Kaital in Haryana. It's been a spectacle time to savor this moment not just for Indian boxing but world boxing as well new stars are born new champions have been created they've brought in the spirit and the soul in the game of boxing as uh, we now await the presentation for Neha Yadav who won bronze in the 81 kg category yes uh, great fan of Mary Com and uh, Seema Punya who's from our own state Neha Yadav, a Bachelor of Arts student from RKST College, Kaital, Haryana. And uh, 
coached initially by Rajinder Singh. She's done well, though seeded to the semi-final. She's done well to get a bronze medal over here. Very proud of her bronze medal. Turkish girl, Sayeda Sahin, also gets a bronze medal. Uh, she was also seeded directly to the semi-final. But was one of the favorites, but lost out in the semi-final uh, to the Russian ultimate gold medal winner, Kristina Kacheva. Neha Yadav had lost to Dina Islambekova of Kazakhstan. And there she is, still unhappy. She was crying when she left the ring, Dina Islambekova. She felt she hadn't done enough. She started as the favorite. But this boxing has shown lots of upsets. Finally, the smile coming on uh, Dina Islambikova's face. She's fought hard, and now it's over to the winner. Kristina Kacheva from Russia and she fought well uh, Novi yes unanimous points decision Kristina Kacheva of Russia fully deserved this heavyweight gold medal she and Anastasia Shamanova have maintained Russia's reputation of the six finals four loss both the Ekaterinas lost and even Natalia was surprisingly beaten by Sitali Ortiz of USA uh, only two gold medals uh, for Russia and uh, earlier on, uh, Anastasia Riba caught a, lost a split decision to Arailam Begdilda. So the second gold medal here, and now for the second time, we'll hear the Russian national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Russia. And now the moment uh, the whole of uh, Guwahati, Assam and India has been waiting for as uh, once again the athletes, uh, the boxers rather, stand for that photo op for one last time before they make way for the winners of the last bout which will be led by Ankushita Boro. Five goals for India. It's been one of the biggest moments in Indian boxing. The, the biggest moment, not one of the, by far the biggest moment. Five goals and two bronze medals. At no level, at world championship level, or at any continental level has India done so well. So it's remarkable. Full credit to Ajay Singh and his team, the coach, Rafael, and providing the facilities. And with eight regional academies coming up, including one in Guwahati, with Sonowale supporting Indian boxing, hopefully as a bright future. It's a brilliantly organized event, a great platform, great opportunity presented by AIBA, BFI coming together. Assam government lending full support and the boxers as well producing the goods. This by far has been the best performance by India at the world stage. And we need to hail all those winners once again. 
Jyoti Gulia, Shashi Chopra, Neetu, Sakshi Chaudhary, and finally the local girl Ankushita Boro, who just won about and clinched India's fifth gold. Let's not forget Neha Yadav and Anupama as well for getting the bronze medals for India. And you see, uh, what is important, Mikhail, is earlier we had a merry com. That was the usual story. One family doing exceptionally well. It was not the system. Was scripting history from Assam. She was trading the punches and she was never short of energy. Her movement was good. Her hand movements were quick. Back and forth there. Once again looking for those hooks and trying to get those occasional right straights as well. This time she got one. And that moment, before the announcement, she went hugging them. Hugging her coach. What a moment there, Novi. And there is the victory ceremony, which, as you said, the whole of Assam will be watching. There's Guppy, the mascot, the rhino, which has been a very popular mascot of the Aiba Women's Youth World Championship. Excellently organized over here. And they move towards the victory podium. Ankushita Pora, Gold, Ekaterina Dynek, Silva, Thailand Girl, Saksri Thanchok, uh, Thanchanok, the bronze, and Kathleen Phelan. Uh, from St. Eldare, uh, she gets, uh, the Eldare province, she gets also a bronze medal. The Irish girl had lost to Ekaterina in the semi-final. The crowd have still waited because they all want to watch this very memorable occasion. It's nice to see them all smiles. And uh, she's really become a poster girl. Uh, and Ankushita Boro. We've seen her posters all over. The Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, Sri Sarbananda Sonawal. Standing alongside him is the BFI President Ajay Singh. The Boxing Federation of India. Ever since he's taken over in 2016, he has worked relentlessly with a vision and that is to put Indian boxing on the world stage. And it has kick-started and he believes this is only the beginning as it's time to honor Kathleen Phelan from Ireland for her bronze medal. Yes, from the Aldai province. Uh, she had lost in an all-European clash to Ekaterina Dynek of Russia. She receives our bronze medal. She is very happy. The other bronze medal is the girl who had lost to Ankushita Boro, the Thai girl, Saksri Thanchanok. The bronze medal, this is in the light welter category, deliberately been kept as a last bout because of the local favorite. And you know, in the 10 gold medals, counting India's five, uh, we've also had IG Im and uh, Bagdilda winning. So seven gold medals have gone to Asia, which is very rare in international boxing. Though we have to admit, Cuba didn't take part. You know, a world powerhouse. Ekaterina uh, 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 Danek of Russia gets the silver medal. Women's light, uh, light welterweight. Despite all her power and aggression, she couldn't really penetrate Ankushita's She was kept defense. at bay by Ankushita very well. Very well. Ankushita's movements kept keeping her off guard. And she couldn't really reach out to her with her punches you know, on, the, on target. Of all the five winners, this Ankushita was the only bout Rafael was really confident of winning. You know, he jumped off his feet. In the others, okay, he was smiling. In the case of Sakshi Chaudhary, he was barely, no, uh, barely, no, barely off his feet. Now, now listen to this roar. Listen to this roar. We'll let the visuals breathe now. Let the visuals breathe. A very happy moment for her. The Chief Minister, Honorable Chief Minister of Assam, former Union Sports Minister, Sarvananda Sonowal, brushing away a tear. Uh, the young girl who took to boxing, encouraged by her brother from a very conservative tribe. So that is what the women are doing. Uh, they are breaking down barriers. That is very important. It's her brother, her elder brother, who plays volleyball, inspired her to take up the sport. Let's stand for the national anthem. of India.
Novi, it will be safe to say that Achhe Din Aa Gaya Hai Indian Boxing Mein. Uh, yes, certainly. Uh, the second sport after badminton, if we leave out cricket, which is not an Olympic sport, uh, the second sport which has developed a system, and you are searching the length and breadth of the country. Uh, you know, in previously all of our Indian sports were well, a proud moment for them. The Honorable Chief Minister, President Ajay Singh, who has done so much and has helped this box, uh, these bouts being telecast. Uh, you know, in uh, so many different channels. It's moments like these that motivate and inspire many girls like Ankushita Boro to take up sport like boxing, and it is defining moments created by these shining stars on the frame that will now take India to an entirely new level in, in world boxing.